Hi everyone. Thanks for visiting our channel. If you came to our channel for the first time, click on subscribe button and keep sharing our videos with your SAP circle. In this podcast, I'm going to talk uh, about a few things, uh, what we uh, generally listen rumors or uh, misunderstandings and what are the truth. So different examples I'm going to give you. It's a generic talk uh, based on the real incidents or uh, real things. I hope it will be helpful for you. So first of all, I wanted to tell you uh, during 2011. So 2011, uh, I think 2008, I started my career as a production officer uh, in Asian Pines. And uh, I was working in uh, color department, technique, color technology related things. When I was uh, doing that role and uh, later I was thinking for a bank job and later I thought to do MBA, but the, with this kind of introvert, a shyness kind of a role attitude, I may not. Uh, be good so multiple things I was checking finally 2011 uh, January and I decided to learn SAP uh, which I was uh, using as an end user so when I was learning and uh, it's going on so we meet certain SAP people and all one rumor I think if I took that rumor as seriously and if I took to my heart or uh, I took the decision today I couldn't be talking like this with you Definitely, because the rumor is like, so nowadays, no SAP has implementations. Most of the companies are already implemented SAP. Now only support projects are there. So support projects uh, don't need too many people. Two, three clients, maybe one person can handle one or two people. So if it is implementation, each client need one or two people. So number of people, they don't need more number of people. The current number of people are mostly enough, maybe a little bit. So already there are a lot of uh, engineering, uh, MCA, computer related students are there. You studied M MSA chemistry and uh, even that is more difficult. Leave about the education and all. But the first thing I wanted to stress now, they used to say like most of the implementation are completed. Let's take logically. Okay. So what is the logical thing I wanted to highlight here? So they used to say like there are no implementations in coming days, uh, so opportunities are less. Just take logically, every year, hundreds of new companies will come. I'm not talking about IT companies. Hundreds of manufacturing companies or um, service companies. If you are uh, kind of a courier, bagging, packaging companies, multiple different, different type of industries, every year, hundreds of companies are going to come. In that few will be successful and the few will be failed and the successful companies will run their increasing their uh, turnover and uh, if you people like us if you start maybe we start with five crore ten crore eight crore kind of uh, taking loan and the savings everything we can start but if you take some big companies like reliance tata or um, any other uh, big companies if they start uh, new business they start up with a big way. Like, for example, they will at a time they will start in 20 cities or 15 cities. And uh, their initial will be like if they can they may keep it 5,000 crores or 10,000 crores, something they will invest and they start it. So every year there are hundreds of companies are coming. So those companies, after one year, or two years, or three years, definitely they will think for an ERP system. I will definitely make a video. Why does a company need ERP? It can be SAP or something else. But what are the benefits with ERP to a company? Why do they need to go for that? So definitely I will make a video on that. So whenever you're getting every year hundreds of new companies, the first year, second, second year, third year, they're going to have ERP, they will come for implementation. So mostly they choose SAP or something else. But if they choose SAP, definitely the projects will come back. How can someone say that all implementation completed, no more implementations? That is their ignorance. But their ignorance, they wanted to, they are uh, keeping on your head. If you take it as granted, then definitely you will end up with a failure. So how opportunities can come? If we are growing, opportunities will be growing. If all these, for example, 1000 companies have started this year, in that leave about 300 companies are not doing well, 700 companies in that three to 300 highly successful and 300 managing little with the little uh, profit margin there are 200 with uh, 
somewhat okay not much profit not much uh, loss kind of thing so these 500 companies a second year at least they will think for it let's have an erp to manage their business so the 500 new implementations are going to come the 500 they may think few will go for thinking they will see the budget and the cost they will think okay we need two more years or one more year to implement so after two years they, those companies will come but there are some 100 companies or 80 companies they are very good they are okay for the budget and they need immediate ERP because they're growing, the business is growing. So they need a system to manage their procurement, they manage their uh, in inventory, sales, everything. So how can someone say that no more implementation, all are implemented, so now only support? I used to hear this one from one person or two people. It was a bad rumor. Please never. Now also you may hear those kind of things. Now no more ECC, only S4 HANA, even S4 HANA, no implementation, just copy. So you may hear such kind of a things, please don't listen and understand the concept, then you will yourself uh, get idea that uh, what is truth and what is rumor. That is about the opportunities. Same for S4 HANA, uh, maybe institutes or anyone like S4 HANA training when they publish that. You need to understand that still you need to do configuration with SPRO. And 80 to 90 percent of configuration with ECC and S4 HANA is same. Only the front end, the Fury apps, while creating the PO, while creating the purchase requisition, and uh, while doing goods received, the user interface, the front end is changed. The fields are more or less similar, but if user interface is changed, but back end SPRO, defined document types, maintain number ranges, all these things you will see pretty same. So. Everyone must upgrade to S4 HANA, but you have to believe that your ECC knowledge is not going to be wasted. How will it be helpful? If you are going for a greenfield implementation, then like I mentioned that 70% of ECC knowledge will be uh, useful in S4 HANA. If you go for a brownfield implementation, without your ECC knowledge, you cannot do that project because in brownfield, the company is planning to use their existing functionalities 80 to 90 percent the same only s4 hana is doing something miracle in that area so that area they will drop and the existing interfaces or existing customization they want to copy there so in the brownfield implementation without ecc knowledge or ecc experience you will struggle to do that so leave that rumor ecc knowledge will be still helpful and it will be uh, helpful for your S4 HANA learning and also it will be helpful for you to do the migration project, any kind of brownfield implementations or uh, if you are doing any other kind of ECC support projects and all will be still helpful. So opportunities, don't listen to those things, still you learn it. But if you are taking time to get the job, please do something. Don't keep it like only I want to become a directly SAP consultant. Take a role if you get a purchasing admin or anything. Work for one year or two years. Understand what is purchasing process. What are the different processes? What documents you are preparing? What documents you are sending to the vendor? And what documents you are receiving from the vendor during goods? And invoice, what details are captured in the invoice? In purchase order, what details are get, getting captured? What are the key information in a purchase order form? So all these things you can learn and understand it and do a certification. Try with your experience of one year or two years and with certification and get a job. So currently I have 11 years of SAP consulting experience and around three and a half years of uh, domain experience. Till my domain experience will play the key role in understanding the business requirements or in visualizing the business operations. Because I had seen the production and I had seen the procurement activities and inventory, the how the stock is to come from the stores to our production area. So these all areas are uh, definitely helpful and uh, always I can imagine in the products, recipe, bomb, and uh, what is the reservation, why company a department can create a reservation. All those things are always uh, helpful. So if you work for one year or two years in a domain company, don't think that you are losing something, definitely it will be helpful for you. Compared to a person, uh, compared to a person who started directly as a SAP consultant, a person who worked for one or two years in an in industry or any service company or manufacturing company anywhere, the difference will be there. And uh, you will definitely see that uh, impact also. Without understanding the business requirements and imagine, you can imagine it that if I provide a solution, it will be work like this. 
if i give a solution like this if a so those kind of um, maturity levels and those things will be always helpful okay so this is the way you don't uh, hear any rumors just check the any official website or uh, get confirmed with your trainer or a mentor or if you're any youtube channel if you're watching that put a comment okay any such kind of uh, wrong understanding okay so financially don't make you pressure when you're trying for opportunities keep whether you work in a jamato or anything doesn't feel if you go to foreign and you dare you work as a part time right so why are feeling shy to work in india so do it something earn some 10000 for your 10000 15000 for your pg or basic uh, expenses can be you can focus on your preparation otherwise you think more about i'm not getting job i'm not getting job and one more thing i wanted to uh, highlight i think i would have highlighted this one in different other videos people say like sir no, not much calls and i'm preparing very well but not no calls when i ask them okay let me evaluate for 10 15 minutes they don't even answer the basic questions because they are saying that we're not practicing no i'm just preparing for interviews only reading question answer after getting job i want to practice it's really very bad because you have to learn first you have to practice you understand the concept understand the business process then prepare the interview questions and answers then you ask someone for opportunity you are not doing all those things people don't practice english well they don't practice uh, powerpoint or uh, preparing a presentation sometimes i ask one or few of my uh, close contacts who are frequently in touch and sir any opportunities and all so do you know ppt i want to give some two three things then say like no sir i didn't work on ppt okay i will send them like can you uh, just make some uh, document uh, i don't know even when they send the resume the resume layout looks too odd it it looks like uh, people the basic things like i need to know at least ms word to prepare my resume to prepare some user manual prepare some test case ppt i need to give a presentation to my client or to give a presentation to my manager and sometimes uh, in interviews and also if you go to little high level or a few people for freshers also they will ask you that can you give a written kt so they will ex- uh, like, like they will just explain you a concept they will ask you prepare some four slides or three slides ppt and explain it then if you don't have a powerpoint skills the basics say we don't have to be too much animation and all those stuff at least how to make a presentation with a good font and the color combination email they cannot write sometimes they say please find the attachment they will miss the attachment and send the email or else they don't know where to keep to to whom they have to keep to and to whom they have to keep copy so these kind of basic things no most of them are not keeping focus and preparing question answer question answer you are not going for a competitive exam please remember that you are not going for a competitive exam just to give the question answer got 81 marks you got the job you are going to do the consulting you have to understand the business requirements you you say purchase requisition they will say indent or they will say some request form so different different words you are going to listen you need to understand you need to be in a position to un- uh, ask the question to them what is meant by indent then they will explain this okay this is a purchase requisition so if you don't know the business knowledge business understanding thinking about opportunities but you are not doing your ground work what you supposed to do what you have to do first you learn properly your module practice understand the business process why i am doing why i am doing this configuration if i don't do what will happen if i do what will happen question yourself do that one then prepare interview question just before interview maybe 3 days before or 4 days before prepare entry question and answers revise how much you know question yourself okay 10 questions i have seen i know seven questions so i need to why the three questions were not i'm not able to answer so question yourself prepare in that way practice see the screen multiple times you don't have to buy hot your spr or path the spr or path will come to your in front of your eyes it will roam if you see again and again again and again like how if you watch a movie how you remember right you are you preparing for a watch remembering a movie no right we can even easily tell that so watching again and again definitely it will impact practice if you get some issue at least practice and check the settings or check google for the error and then practice and fix that issue nowadays people have become uh, it's like uh, passion just it's like fashion just you can uh, 
put a if you are in a telegram group uh, what is this error can you answer it someone has to give answer ready made they cannot think they cannot even analyze on their own just want to ask a question to someone get the answer apply then so these kind of attitudes will not give you long term success i might be talking little uh, rude in few three points but i'm considering like you are my students and you are my uh, youtube family if i tell something strongly if i offends one or two people please forgive but you have to understand the severity in your preparation you after doing all those things i believe that 90% people will get something if i follow whatever i told without following if you are preparing then definitely it will take time for you to get the job and also you will end up with a failure and complaining that no opportunities all those stuff and all so i hope uh, these inputs definitely helpful for you please watch the video again and understand the inner meaning of my inputs and uh, suggestions i hope it will be helpful all of us need to make our career better if we are having good health and wealth then we can do something for other people either for our close family parents wife kid and all or husband if you are a lady or then extended family our siblings then to our village or to our uh, locality what to whoever we can do all those things if you have 100 rupees you can easily think to help 2 rupees 3 rupees 5 rupees 10 rupees already your purse has only 10 rupees then someone is asking you you even think to give 1 rupee also okay so uh, you can understand that if you are well you have a good wealth then only you can do more help but of course you should have intention if you don't have intention if you have 10 crores also you cannot help that is secondary but if you are wealth if you are have good health then you can learn more things and you can uh, work on your life also different passion things or you can travel or you can explore a lot of things we can do if you are healthy if your health is not good you cannot do many things so always take care of, about your health and wealth so then your passion career role position whatever you are expecting those things can happen good luck to all of you i hope this video will be helpful to few of our uh, youtube family members if you like our video hit like button and keep sharing thank you